It's the Florkin penultimate episode of No Fac. I'm your host, Dylan Field, and this is Nerding Out for a Cause. It's Nerding Out for a Cause, aka No Fac, the show dedicated to Marvel fans of every walk of life. The characters covered in this series are selected by our generous sponsors who have donated to the historic organization, the NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund. Become a real life hero today and donate to this amazing cause. A minimum of a $5 donation will make you a permanent credit on NoFac. With the massive success of our donation campaign, Ask NoFac, the NoFac team, alongside your support and matching from our generous sponsors, has raised our grand total of donations to the NAACP LDF to over $3,000. We at NoFac want to say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. On today's episode of NoFac, we're covering one of the most prominent Guardians of the Galaxy and Half-World inhabitant, none other than Rocket Raccoon. Created by Bill Mantlo and Keith Giffen, Rocket technically has two first appearances in Marvel Comics. Rocket's first appearance is in 1976 in Marvel Preview No. 7. This is the official debut of Rocket Raccoon in a Marvel comic. 10,000 years in an alternate future of the Marvel Universe, Prince Wayfinder meets a very British version of the future Guardian of the Galaxy. Rocket's British characterization is in reference to creators Mantlo and Giffen's inspiration, the Beatles song Rocky Raccoon. In fact, Rocket is first introduced as Rocky. Yo, the Beatles references continue in Rocket's mainline continuity debut in The Incredible Hulk number 271 in May 1982. In this issue, the Hulk lands on the planet Half-World. This planet is populated primarily by robots mining the world for natural resources and artificially engineered animals like Rocket and his compatriot Wal Russ, another Beatles illusion. For years, Rocket cameoed and guest starred in various cosmic Marvel comics, and even starred in his own limited solo run in 1985. Rocket is a master tactician, engineer, marksman, and pilot. These skills came to the forefront in Rocket's reappearance in the 2007 comic run Annihilation Conquest, written by Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning. In this series, Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, recruits a group of unlikely allies from a Kree prison, including Rocket Raccoon and a Flora Colossus monarch from Planet X fans know better as Groot. Sound familiar? Abnett and Lanning's 2007 limited run and follow-up series, the 2008 second volume of Guardians of the Galaxy, laid the foundation for Marvel's modern iteration of these cosmic heroes. James Gunn has even stated that his entries into the MCU are directly influenced from Abnett and Lanning's work. Speaking of the MCU, James Gunn has even hinted that we'll see Rocket's cinematic origins in the third installment of Guardians of the Galaxy. With no official release date for Guardians of the Galaxy 3, fans should expect to see the film after Thor Love and Thunder, which is slated to release February 11th, 2022. And that's no fact on Rocket Raccoon. For more information on the NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund, to donate to the cause, to read more about Rocket Raccoon, or to become a permanent credit on NoFac, make sure to check out the information provided below. Thank you to this week's sponsor, Adrian, for selecting Rocket Raccoon. His donation to the NAACP LDF made this video possible. To stay up to date on all things nerding out for a cause, make sure to follow us on social media provided here. With only one episode left of Nerding Out for a Cause, we'll see you next week.